Hello, welcome to Heidelberg Print Media Center. I'm Anthony, and I'm gonna show you some of the benefits of Heidelberg Digital Front End, the driver to our Versifier digital printer. Today I'm going to show you some of the benefits of Heidelberg's digital front end, the driver for our Versifier digital printing machine. The Heidelberg Digital Front End, or DFE, is a server client-based software that can be used on Mac and PC platforms. All right, let's start a new job. This is the cockpit view. In the cockpit view, we sort our jobs as by month. Most customers sort their job by job number. I'm gonna grab our PDF and drag it into the demo jobs folder. This will pop up with a wizard for us with job number and job name. In this case, we're just going to leave this alone and hit finished and start the job. As soon as the job comes into the job, it starts the process. It is doing what we call a qualify. A qualify is a pre-flight report. It has 137 different checks that are possible. Once the pre-flight's done, we see some warnings at the bottom. With those warnings, we're able to go and get a report. The report will work interactively with Acrobat. Here is the report, and we're able to click on different things, different problems that we see. Here we're seeing that we have a high resolution or a low resolution image problem. In this case, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna close it out. Once we're done with this, we're able to go to colors and see what spot colors are in the job. The job has multiple Pantone colors in the job to edit or create or fix. So if we take 151, for instance, we're able to import a new color from a known color table and substitute it with this other orange. Once we do this, we're able to map that spot color to the 3564. Now we have an alias done with this spot color. Rather than go back to the PDF, PDF edited. The next thing we're going to do is go to Pages, and in Pages we're able to do another pre-flight report, and we're able to do a flattening or an optimize. From there, we're able to go to Digital Print Tab. In the Digital Print Tab, this is where we do our imposition. The first tab in the imposition is going to be the paper size or the paper type. In this case, we're looking at what papers are in the machine right now. For this case, we're going to use the 80-pound gloss cover as our main paper. From there, we're going to go to the imposition. Right now, we're selected on the single-sided setup. We have a duplex, tumble, bookwork, and this is where we're going to be either perfect bound or saddle stitch. We have different stitching modes that we're able to do. As Soon as we pick the saddle stitch book, it changes from one to four and one and eight instead for perfect bound or saddle stitch. Once we're done with this, we're able to move to marks. In the marks area, we have different folding mark, cut marks, full mark, lay mark, so on and so forth, and also an info text. The info text I like to use when I do variable data because it prints the record number directly on the sheet for me. So if there is a jam up, I'm able to see what record number jam. The next area is color management. Color management has different settings in here for your CMYK conversion, your RGB conversion, and also we have black policies. We also are able to edit spot colors in this area, and we, get, I, we are able to see Delta E2000 of a particular Pantone color. You can see that we have green ones and red ones. 
The red ones mean that they're out of color gamut. The green ones are in the color gamut. Inside of spot color matching, I'm able to pick a spot color and I'm able to pick a color chip or print this out and see the color chip and determine that this one is a better choice. Once we have that saved, we then have the availability of having our paper set up for our particular stock we're printing on. We're also able to come into profile customization and pull curves down according to how we see color. We can pick each curve and do slightly different moves to each one of them. I'm not going to save this, I'm going to continue. Last but not least tab is destination. How do I run or how do I want to run this? Face up, face down? If I'm sorting the sheets or if I'm not sorting the sheets, meaning one, two, three, four, five, or one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and so on. We have a separated sheet or a slip sheet is what it's called. We have an insert sheet where we can insert from a different tray. So a pre-printed material in another tray where we can insert. We're able to print on tab stock. Image shift is another area of front to back registration that we don't really use too much because we do it on the paper library on the engine. Print options. This is our screening that we would use 175 dot. We also have different screenings that we can use 175 line. We can also make custom ones, meaning we can mix and match 175 line, 175 dot, 200 dot, and 300 line together to get our best screening that we need. With this, we're also able to send cutting data to CompuCut down to the Polar cutters. Then we're able to have different destination devices. In this case, we have the standard finisher and the high capacity stacker on this machine. We're gonna to go to the high capacity stacker up a tray to print. Once we pick it, we're able to do a shift mode also too, but we're not gonna shift at all. We can hit submit, tell it how many we need, and hit okay. Here comes our jobs printing. We're sorting these jobs out. And now the job is finished and at the bottom area of the queue. Thanks for joining us. I hope you found this information helpful and if you need any additional information, please contact us at info at heidelberg.com.